Yeah, the Premier League does start tonight, so who needs what? Yes, it's time to go around the clubs. Certainly is. Arsenal in the market for a goalkeeper, a midfielder and a forward. Talks underway with Real Madrid for Martin Odegaard. Uh, Dean Smith says his Aston Villa squad is stronger now than it was last season, even after Jack Grealish was sold to Manchester City. Smith says he's not particularly looking for any more signings. Five players in at Brentford and they may not be finished. A right back and a forward are the areas they're looking at. Uh, Graham Potter says they will be working hard to bring in more players. They want another forward and a left back. Burnley are on the hunt for wide attacking players. Nothing is close yet, though. Uh, Chelsea have got the new striker they wanted. Now they need to balance the books by selling fringe players and don't rule out a bid for Sevilla centre-back Jules Koundé. Crystal Palace's main priority is a striker and a midfielder. Patrick Vieira expects the club to be busy. Uh, Rafael Benitez says if Everton do bring players in, they will have to be conscious of FFP rules. James Rodriguez won't play this weekend. Marcelo Bielsa says he's satisfied with his Leeds United squad and happy to work with the group of players he's got. This one's just been confirmed. Yannick Vestergaard has completed his move to Leicester and he's available for the game against Wolves this weekend. Liverpool have spent the summer tying down some key players to new contracts. Virgil van Dijk, the latest. Ibrahim Konate has arrived. Midfield and attack are the areas areas that they're looking at. Expect Manchester City to make another bid for Harry Kane after the game against Spurs on Sunday. City are not going away. The bulk of Manchester United's transfer business is done. They are, though, looking at midfielders. The Joe Willock deal is done and Steve Bruce says there could be one or two more new arrivals at Newcastle this month. Norwich City manager Daniel Farker wouldn't be drawn on transfer business today, but there could yet be incomings at Carrow Road before the deadline. It's been more about outs than ins for Southampton so far. Danny Ings and Yannick Vestergaard have both left. Now it's about keeping James Ward-Prowse. Harry Kane is back in training at Tottenham. They want to bring in a striker to play alongside the England captain. Uh, Watford have signed seven players so far this window. Question marks, though, over the future of Ismail Assar. West Ham United still working hard to sign a centre-back and could they yet make a late move? For Jesse Lingard. Wolves have signed five players so far. Trincao from Barcelona, the most eye catching. The club would love to strengthen at the back and central midfield, but it may be a case of selling before they buy any more players.